Before continuing to watch this video, it's good to like, comment and subscribe. Lots of animal behavior, animal reproduction and much more that we can learn as a window of knowledge. In the animal world, we recognize animal reproduction which is divided into three ways, namely viviparous or giving birth, oviparous or laying eggs, and also ovoviviparous or giving birth and laying eggs. This time we will discuss one example of an ovoviviparous animal, namely the stingray. OVVV parity is one way of animal reproduction by giving birth and laying eggs, the embryo that becomes the child of the animal develops in the egg. The eggs are also still in the mother's body until finally hatching. Then, after the eggs hatch, there are new individuals that come out of the mother's body. Animals with this reproduction have characteristics that the embryo develops and grows even though it is in the egg. Then when they are old enough, the eggs will hatch and the child will come out of the mother's body. Meanwhile, food reserves are contained in the egg as food for the embryo to develop, so it does not come from the mother's body. Some examples of ovoviviparous animals are stingrays, sharks, and some types of snakes. Stingrays are an example of ovoviviparous animals that reproduce by giving birth and laying eggs. Basically, rays reproduce by laying eggs, but some types of stingrays will give birth to their children after the eggs hatch in their bodies. Initially male stingrays and female stingrays fertilize first and then will produce eggs. They do not immediately remove the eggs from the stomach, but they will store the eggs in the body of the female stingray until the embryo develops and also grows old enough in the womb. After that the embryo will come out of the mother's stomach. This stingray belongs to a unique animal, they only require a very short fertilization, which is 90 seconds, while the gestation period of a female stingray will take about 9 to 12 months. In one pregnancy, a stingray will produce 5 to 9 children or embryos. After learning about how stingrays reproduce, the next interesting thing is knowing the mating process of stingrays and the time it takes to incubate their eggs. So in the process, a male ray will fertilize a female ray. What's unique about the stingray fertilization process is that it only lasts 90 seconds. Then when the manufacturing process is successful, the female stingray will contain eggs that are stored in her body. Generally. Female stingrays will store the eggs until they become embryos or grow old enough in the womb to be released or born. The unique thing that we need to know about stingrays is that there are cases that some stingrays can also reproduce by parthenogenesis, meaning that they are able to give birth to children without the need for fertilization by sperm in the embryo. This condition is indeed very rare, but in fact a stingray named Freckle in Australia is able to do this. In addition, Stingrays are also rich in vitamins and minerals containing vitamins A, B12, D, calcium, niacin, fluoride, and phosphorus. But who would have thought, even though it has good content for consumption, it turns out that there are parts of this fish that can harm other living things, including humans. This part is the tail of the stingray which can sting. The sting is a way of defense of the stingray when it feels threatened. This sting will give various reactions to humans if accidentally step on it. This is because the stingray contains a deadly poison, usually when it feels threatened the stingray will immediately use its tail to attack. Stingray stings that come from the tail can cause pain, skin tearing to severe tissue damage and usually the soles of the feet and ankles. This is the part of the body most often stung by stingrays. This is because the stingray hides under the sand so that most people find it difficult to detect its presence, it subconsciously makes a person accidentally step on his body. Quoted from Animals How Stuff Works The composition of the poison contained in a stingray's sting consists of the enzyme 5-nucleotidase, phosphodiesterase, and the neurotransmitter serotonin. Enzymes can cause tissues and cells to die while serotonin can cause smooth muscle to tear badly and that is the component that makes toxins so painful. Stingray venom can do serious damage, the most damaging part of the sting mechanism can actually be the spines. When stung by a stingray, the poison that enters can cause smooth muscles to contract continuously, and make cells in the body die quickly. Therefore, if someone is stung by a stingray, he must get immediate medical attention so that it does not cause a fatal outcome. Toxins that enter the abdominal cavity, chest, or liver will be very dangerous, as happened to the late Steve Irwin, an environmental activist and presenter of the famous Crocodile Hunter.